Hi guys, welcome to the Eddie Cohn Academy of Jiu-Jitsu. Today I'm joined by one of the purple belts in the academy, Stuart. Um, and we're going to teach you a self-defense position from standing shoulder grab. Okay guys, so when we talk about self-defense, we have to talk about the components that make this work. Um, Today we're talking about the stand-up self-defense from a surprise attack. A lot of people have a misconception that Gracie Jiu Jitsu self-defense is literally about someone walking up to you and confronting you face to face and then something happens. We're talking about the self-defense positions when you're grabbed in a surprise manner. Um, so the one we're gonna talk about today is the shoulder grab. It's a very, very simple move, um, but there are a lot of components that go with the position. So the first thing that happens, this can happen anywhere, anytime, in the street. Stu's going to grab my shoulder here. This is just kind of here. And before we talk about breaking the grip or moving away from the grip, we have to talk about base and posture. We have to talk about balance. We have to talk about weight distribution. We have to talk about him connecting to me rather than me trying to fight him off. So the first thing that happens, Stu grabs, and then what I do is I push my hip forward, and we can already see Stu start to come forward a little bit. When I relax, you can see he grabs, he begins the pull, and then I put what we call base in. And the way I do that is by pushing my hip forward and leaning back. And this way, if Stu lets go of the grip while I'm doing this, I don't fall, I don't topple over. And this is really important. Because should he grab and I start to put resistance and then he lets go and I go flying backwards, maybe fall on the ground into the road. So we have to be really careful. So the first thing is your posture, your position. The next thing we have to talk about is hand positioning. So he grabs, base and posture. I cannot have my hands down here because more than likely he's going to hit with the other hand. So my hands must be up here, ready to defend against it any of the attacks that he's going to throw at me. The next thing I'm going to do with this is engage with him. When I feel that pull, when I feel him pulling me, the moment he pulls, I'm going to lift my elbow and step my foot. I'm not going to make a straight arm and try and hit his arm. That's not going to work. What happens is I lift my elbow and I use my body weight here to rotate him. This breaks his whole structure. I'm going to wrap just below the elbow, hold my wrist like it was a guillotine, not my fingers, hold my wrist, and I'm going to rotate my shoulders upwards, causing the arm and shoulder to break at that point. Okay, so we just saw this in an undynamic move, in an unrealistic move, we just saw him grabbing my shoulder. This, this self-defense position can be done in what we call the three or four dimensions. For example, it could be done if he's here face to face with me and he grabs it, it would be the same principle of base, hands up and go. It could be done from the side as we just demoed, where he grabs from the side and I do the same move. Or it can be done from behind. So if we're here and he grabs, I step. The main thing is that I have to look at what arm is grabbing me. It would be crazy for me if he grabs, just grab, and then I do the wrong arm. So he grabs, and for that split second as I move, I'm going to rotate and catch him. So there are three dimensions. Now there is a fourth dimension that we can bring into to the equation here. And that is women, long hair. Um, same thing, if they grab the hair from the side with the long flowing locks Stu has, <laughs> or from behind, they grab the hair and pull. It's the same principle for women. Um, it doesn't really change. So bear that in mind that the self-defense positions we're showing, especially the shoulder grab defense, is from a, is from a static position right now, but the, it's the stand-up self-defense positions from surprise attacks, and that's what's important. Guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the Technique of the Week. Um, big thanks to Stuart for helping out with the technique. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Please comment below. Any questions you have, we're more than happy to answer them. Uh, follow us on social media too. It's at EKBJJ. And hopefully we'll see you in the future when we share some more techniques with you guys.